Hello and welcome to the 60th sorry, video in this series for beginners programming in C. So this is the second video then where we'll carry on looking at header files. Inside the folder for this um, video, which is this uh, chapter 60 here, I have five files now. Uh, we have main.c, which looks like so. I'll just leave it there so you can uh, copy it out, which has printf main start main end. It's just a very basic skeleton program. Then I have four other files, definitions.h, which is empty, definitions.c, which include, which simply has a line saying include definitions.h, shield.h, which is empty, and shield.c, which includes shield.h. So in this video, I want to cover the, the next aspect with header files. And I think I said at the end of the last video, uh, something about that you can end up with some confusing errors with header files. Well, we'll have a look at one of those in this. I'm just going to run the compile again on the program so you can see that the compile statement is gcc main.c, definitions.c, shield.c, and the program is called main. And if I just run it, then we have main start and main end printed, so everything is okay. So let's say we covered in the last video how we would define a function and be able to include that then in other code files to to be able to use. And let's say we want to define a variable to use. And this is what then would maybe be called a global variable in the sense that it will be available to anything in the program that includes the header file. So we'll call it our global. Oops. And let's set the value of our global to 10. Now, if I save that program now and just check what I've got included, good. So the only thing I've got is our global is 10. If I save this program now and just compile this program, it compiles and runs. Now let's say I want to print our global to the screen. So I'll make a function in definitions.h called print global. And as I said in the last video, we'll then put the um, code for this function inside definitions.c. And now we want to, in fact, I've made that as an int return type. Let's call it uh, get global so we don't have to include stdio.h. Sorry. Let's go here. And now let's just return our global like so. If I bring back the compiler now and compile, things compile OK. There's a reason I'm doing this step by step. Now let's say that we want to use this get global function to get the value of global, and we're going to call this get global function inside main.c. So the first thing we obviously have to do is we have to include definitions.h in main.c. So let's do that now. And now let's bring across the compiler and compile. And now you see that we get an error with a duplicate symbol, our global. And the question is what's going on there, because often when you get these duplicate symbol errors, um, they're a little bit confusing, particularly when you first start programming. Well, what's happened is, is we have, in the same way as when we had the body of the function in the last video, we had this error when we had the body of the function defined in the header file. Exactly the same thing is going on with our integer variable here our global. We're declaring it and also defining it in the header file. So what that means is the compiler will have compiled this into code, our global with a value of 10, rather than what it would do if we didn't have the definition here of just make space for something called our global and would wait to find the, the appropriate C code, which then has the, the definition of it. And what happens then is it's defined once there. And then because we've included that file inside main.c, then it essentially gets defined again. Another way of looking at this would to be if I just comment out our global, and in fact I'll remove the get global function and remove the get global function from here like so. And if I go into main.c now, if I do int num equals zero and int num equals one, well, zero again, let's say, and try and compile, then you'll already know that you'll get an error here. And now we've got the error again. Okay, we've got more specific with the redefinition because it's inside the same code file, but the same problem is occurring here. We've got something redefined, and that's essentially what was happening when we had our global 
defined in this format in definitions.h and then we're trying to use it inside uh, main like so it gets redefined again so the way we get around that is similar to how we do it with the functions what we need to do is actually define in one place only inside the code our global and give it its value and simply take this off here and now our global is available for use throughout the program so what I could do then here is just take a print f now and we'll put our global and then our global and now if I just bring across the compiler and compile you see that the program runs and prints our global to the screen and just like with functions you can if you want put this declaration for our global in this way wherever you like so if I just drop it in there without actually a value assigned the program compiles and runs the minute however I assign a value to this here then I'm actually specifying exactly what it is and that's only allowed to be done once so that will be one reason why you get um, a number of errors when you start using header files and one thing that is, is, is good practice to do obviously is also in the header definition of the variable to only have that defined once in the code despite the fact like with the functions you could put the definition as many times as you like which just tells the compiler to do something it's already done which is make space for something an integer's worth of space available for our global um, it's best obviously just to have that done once and in fact um, obviously then inside your code you want the actual value that's going to be put in that space that's been made available is only allowed to be specified once okay so that's it then for this video because the next thing I want to talk about is what's called inclusion guards which is because these header files um, well this definitions.h still isn't complete in its current state it needs to have something called inclusion guards and in fact I just realized we don't actually need shield.c and shield.h in this video because we haven't used them they'll be used in the next video where I'll discuss why you often see the in the header files the if def and then some stuff and then uh, define and all, all this kind kind of stuff why you see that in most header files and what it does okay so I'll stop rambling on now I'll leave this video there and we'll sort of complete this introduction to header files then in the next video hope it made some sense and comments questions criticisms welcome as always on YouTube